Welcome back to the channel. Today's daily challenge is positively charged. Get a trading paint skill in any Dodge Charger. So if you guys don't know, a trading paint skill is where you just glance off of a traffic vehicle. I'm not sure if it's another player. Maybe in uh, racing you can get that, but in the free roam you just uh, ghost out. So let's go over to Dodge. Let's see which Charger we want to use. Alright, so we have these and the old one that's it let's try this one why not i usually don't use the chargers from this era um i'm always using the older one i don't know if that's you know specifically they call it out or what all right so you know the drill if you come out here and you go straight down the drag strip you will find traffic okay so there's a near miss skill Whereas you, you go really close to a car, you get the near miss. Now I believe if you go even faster, it is a you know great or awesome. See right there, I got a great near miss because I was going like 160 or something. That was sick. That was so sick. Okay, let's see if I can get a trading paint here with the wheel. There it is. So second car to go by. I got it done. You just want to glance off. You don't want to like directly hit them. You know, it's pretty specific, but not that hard. If you guys keep trying, you'll get it. Now, moving on, something else we want to try in this video is to clean up the monthly rivals. Now, this is going to be for the whole month. So the other festival playlists might be a little dry since I'm doing all four of these in the first one. But who cares? Let's do this BMW 850 CSI. And we have to beat a time of 22 minutes and 24 seconds. And it's Route to Norte, guys. That's my jam when it comes to street races. It's the only one I do. All right, second attempt here. I went a little bit too fast and then had to use rewind and I forgot. The main point of what we're doing here, it's monthly rivals post a clean lap. We don't even have to beat that time up there, even though we 100% will. Uh, we just can't use rewind, miss a checkpoint, or hit something. You know, you know how it goes. So, I'm going to race this thing a little more reserved. What I found is the tires, and maybe the suspension, I'm not sure, but it's mostly the tires. It just wants to slide off the track. Ever so slightly, not too bad. But yeah. Also, what, what I was saying earlier was I think you can make something very sick out of this, but... I think you're going to want a modern power plant, an, an updated engine, but in this game there aren't a lot of those that, you know, kind of sound like BMWs or are BMWs. I know, I'm pretty sure there's like a K20 from Honda in there, there's, um, you know, there's LS engines, you know, there's, even if, even if you're just pretending, like the numbers are similar. You know, Ford has a 6.2 V8, you could just, oh yeah, that's a Ford, <laughs> you could be like, no, it's an, it's an LS. Anyway, there's just a lot in there, but none that really feel BMW specific other than maybe the 2J. And then if you wanted to do a racing 2J, racing 3 liter, or um, just a generic inline 6. There's, there's a couple of those. Now, that, I, don't know if, I don't know what that is. That might be a BMW engine. Or you could just go like a couple generations ago, M3, and have the V10. That'd be awesome. Right here is where I lost it. Had to rewind. But I'm kind of a purist. I, I'd like to give the original engine a shot. I want to make it as cool as it can be. You know, unless it's just not possible. There was like the 57 Chevy or 55 Chevy, whatever it is in the game. Um, <laughs> it had such just like an antique engine that I gave it everything and it was terrible. <laughs> so, yeah, we don't want to do that. But yeah, I think you can make this thing look really cool. Hopefully there's a body kit involved. Um, definitely some three-piece wheels. Slam it. I kind of wish they leaned into the car culture more with this game. Maybe you can make some vehicles, you know, stanced out. It doesn't have to be, you know, racing. Everything's racing. I really like that there's just challenges involved, you know. But anyway, maybe that's a different type of game. But I'd love to see air suspension... Or adjustable suspensions. I think there's a lot more they can do with uh, Forza Horizon. And right now, and it has been for a couple generations for me, the Forza Horizon series feels 
way better than Forza Motorsport. Now, that being said, I, ha I did not buy the last Forza Motorsport game or play it, but uh, six of them is enough. Maybe I had seven, I can't remember. It's been a long time, but I don't know. I think I think they lost it with the uh, Motorsport series. There we go. There's our clean lap. That's going to get our monthly rival taken care of, and we can get those four points. But like I said, we won't get that car until later in the series, later on. Oh, uh, it's the series reward car. Okay, so as long as you get 80 points. Well, I'm already at 58. So if I push this series a little bit, no, I'll get it because I had 49 last time. If I just get these two cars, there we go. So coming up uh, later this week, we'll get that 850 CSI. Now moving on to the second and final monthly rivals of the day. This is, uh, it's not really monthly rivals. I call it that, but this is Forza EV. So they're featuring these electric vehicles. We already did that one. We want to do the Baja and, uh, once again, clean lap. No collisions, no rewindations, no missed checkpoints. There you go. All right, here we go in the Rivian R1T. This is the truck version. We have knobby tires. Now, we're still pretty heavy, being all electric with the batteries and everything. But we're going to have those knobby tires, so that'll help us. Yesterday, in the SUV, that's probably very similar um, as far as power and engines, motors, whatever. Um, we were we were sliding. It's heavy, so you want to post a clean lap, and I'm just trying to save it here. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe this isn't much better, especially on the road. It's so weird, man. It feels so weird. But anyway, here we go. And most of that is because I'm on the wheel. I'm just you know. I don't know. I wish there was a setting I could I could change, but. I'm just a glutton for punishment. I'm going to try to keep it between the yellows and off the walls. Because I just I just need to get this done. I need to post a clean lap. That guy is checked out, but also he has a yellow exclamation point. Which means his lap is flagged. Also, he took 13 minutes. So, what a goober. Anyway, here we go. We're doing pretty good. Now I could I could go a lot faster on controller, and I could go a lot faster if I didn't 100% have to not hit the walls. I think Forza is much more fun if you can kind of dance around and bump into people and you know touch a touch a border wall if you need to or something. Yeah, it's fun. I really don't understand why they want you to post a clean lap. And it'd be different if, like, you got some kind of leeway. Now, there have been times where I've, like, glanced off, just ever so slightly touched a wall, and been, you know, genuinely shocked that it didn't flag it. But that is super few and far between. All right, this guy's pulled off. He is out of charge. So we're going to keep it on going here. This thing is starting to get slightly dusty, a little dirty. I love that for us. So real. Here in Forza Horizon. I really wish there wasn't another Forza Motorsport coming out. I wish it was just another Forza Horizon. Honestly, we don't really need it. I wish... I don't know. I don't know. I just want that new experience again. It has been, for me, almost two years to where we completed, you know, all of the main challenges and all that stuff kind of getting sick of looking at the same stuff in Mexico now we do have those expansions but all of the festival playlist takes place in Mexico you can't even do any of the challenges or anything somewhere else there we go look at that goofy thing all right, so what we needed to do, we got done there. Why is that background completely washed out and looking weird? I don't know. All right, there it is. Baja California Trail for the EV. Post a clean lap complete. Now, like I was saying yesterday, we only have reward cars there. We have this Welcome to the Eliminator 
Forza Link reward, and then we have two more cars over here. So nothing really exclusive that I'm trying to get to. So um, being the last day of this festival playlist, I don't know if I'm going to complete any more of those things. I'll make sure I have that Welcome to the Eliminator, but I'm pretty sure I have that. Like, like I said, yesterday at the end of the video, I uh, gave a little introduction to this, but if you guys want to you can go back and check yesterday's video out if you haven't already and and if not just look forward to tomorrow i'm gonna have a complete breakdown of this brand new festival playlist autumn storm season we're gonna go over of course the reward cards like you see here but we're gonna go through the weekly challenge the shop the treasure hunt which is now an obstacle course for this series the photo challenge and the daily what's the daily fun day for science Okay, we got to put on a lab coat. Very apropos. Then Friday, we're going to have the trial. Uh, we're going to be racing for a Nissan GTR from 2012. But it looks like behind there, it might just be any Nissan GTR. We'll see. That's all it's showing. So maybe that's the theme. Maybe that's the restriction. And then on Saturday, make sure you guys come back in and check out all of the PR stunts. Now, this one is where the community challenge is going to stem from. It looks like we're doing Chevy Colorado all of this week, and they're all danger signs. So hopefully it's B700. We'll see. But there's also going to be two of these in the expansions. But I don't want to do that as a community challenge because not everybody has the expansion. Maybe sometime. Maybe I'll throw one out there. But this is something new I'm trying to do. I did one for this week. And I don't think I got much traction on it. Did it at Auto Pista here. I made a YouTube short about it. Uh, we featured it in Saturday's video. But I wanted to see if anybody uh, was competition for myself. But we had no takers. So moving on to this week, maybe we'll have a change of fortune. And then on Sunday, because we have them, uh, we're going to be doing all of the event labs here on the channel. And uh, like I said yesterday at the end of the video, keep your hopes up and fingers crossed for the Event Lab 2.0 Event Labs that have all the new features. Make, they're going to be coming out very soon. As soon as those guys finish up, they you know they just got all the tools and all that stuff. So it kind of sucks that they're really featuring it, but we haven't really seen anything yet. But hey, it's out there. It's cool. It's a new feature almost two years into the game's uh, shelf life here. So... Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you tune in for all of those new videos featuring this coming week's brand new festival playlist. I'll see you then in the next one. Later.